Hi friends, Sharita here at 7 Days Time. For as long as I can remember, I've had an affinity for bodies of water and exploring everything around them. Maybe it's because I hail from Kansas and bodies of water were kind of hard to come by. We weren't really a lake family, so most of my growing up days were spent walking around our local frog pond, as we called it, searching for treasures and exploring that the life teeming just below the surface. Now we live in Washington State, and bodies of water are much more prominent out here. We have the Puget Sound, American Lake is right down the road, and occasionally we'll drive to the coast. My favorite pastime is to explore the coastline, looking for hidden gems and treasures that have washed up. Not too long ago, I was doing just that, and I saw a shell buried in the mud and the sand right by the edge. I picked it up really excited and then realized it was broken. It was chipped. It wasn't whole. I almost discarded it back into the water, but God stopped me and showed me there was a lesson in that, that even shells that aren't whole anymore, that are chipped, that aren't as pretty maybe as they once were, they have a story and they still have beauty. It reminds us of our lives as Christians. Let's look at 2 Corinthians 4, 7 in the message. It says, if you only look at us, you might well miss the brightness. We carry this precious message around in the unadorned clay pots of our ordinary lives. That's to prevent anyone from confusing God's incomparable power with us. As it is, there's not much chance of that. You know for yourselves that we're not much to look at. We've been surrounded and battered by troubles, but we're not demoralized. We're not sure what to do, but we know that God knows what to do. We've been spiritually terror terrorized, but God hasn't left our side. We've been thrown down, but we haven't been broken. Friends, no matter what you've experienced in life, no matter how beat down and broken you might feel, please know there is still beauty, so much beauty, not only in your physical self, but really in your spiritual self, because that's where Christ dwells. He is within us, and Christ is beautiful. Even that battered, bloody body on the cross was a beautiful sight because it gave us hope for a future and a life with him. So think about those broken shells of your life. Maybe it's abuse, divorce, addiction, denial, whatever it is. Know that God knows you're beautiful, that the beauty of Christ can shine through you, and that broken shells, whether whole or just a little bit chipped or completely smashed to pieces, they are still very beautiful, just as you are. So share your story. Share your beautiful, beautiful story of redemption. Let God work in you and know that your testimony shows Christ's undying beauty as he hung there on the cross and now waits for us seated in the throne of heaven.